bartender of Stonewall on and off for 55 years. And the night of the rebellion, I was in there dancing with a few of my friends. And uh, we were used to having raids because it was against the law to serve known alcohol, I'm sorry, alcohol to known homosexuals in New York City. So the police raided the bars once in a while. But that night, we did not know it was the night of all nights that this would be going down in history because we figured it was just another raid. And uh, as the cops came in, we heard screaming in the other room because there was two parts of Stonewall, the original. And we figured it was a raid. But uh, the, people, the police were throwing drugs on the floor telling you step on that, that's yours, that's yours. And the next thing I know is a bottle went flying across the room and that started everything. And my friend Charlie, my friend Frank, and a Catholic priest I was with, Gregory, we were lucky to sneak out because one of the cops knew us and let us leave. And Gregory left and I was outside watching the riots and helping set police cars on fire, garbage cans on fire. And we were having the time of our life. I was a good kid all my life and I was having fun. But when we saw the riot squad coming with the nightsticks and the shields, that's when I ran away and uh, I was a little nervous, so I went to a restaurant called Mommy's Chicken Rib, and the very next night I went back there, but there were too many cameras and TV and everything. And unfortunately, my mother's very religious, and she had no idea I was gay, so I had to hide and keep it a secret for a while.